guys. So we are going to have some fun today. We're going to do a totally, totally different kind of video. As you can see, I'm wielding around a knife. <laughs> okay, so the thing is, is I actually kind of set up this video in a video I haven't posted yet. So it, let me go ahead and do that again. Um, okay, so this is a sparkle jar. Of course, it's a lush sparkle jar. And for those of you who do not know what this is, um, it's a massage bar. It's a lush massage bar. This is scented in Snow Fairy. And it has dusting powder that's actually already like halfway leaked out um, into the package. But, um, so this is what we're going to do with this today. And this is my very first one. I have never um, gotten or used a sparkle jar before. But, um, so what we're going to do today is something I saw on Instagram that looks super, super cool. And I thought, okay, well, that's exactly what I'm going to do when I get mine. And they just came in yesterday. I've gotten um, two Snow Fairies and two Twilights, and I got them on the um, BOGO restock. So anyway, I thought, you know, what the heck, even if it's a disaster, I've got some extra ones, right? So anyway, what I saw on Instagram was um, what someone did, because what I have heard is some people have said that when you rub these on your skin in the shape that they're created in, that they're not necessarily cumbersome to hold on to, because this seems like an okay shape to me, but that sometimes it's not very comfortable to rub on your skin and the dust gets everywhere. Um, so what they have done was they've taken the top off of their jar and they've removed the dust and put it somewhere else. And then they have chopped up their jar and melted it down in one of the tops, one of their lids of their um, Lush container, one of their little tins. Now these, um, I think this might be for a shampoo bar. I put my little um, soft cure um, massage bar in here because it just fits just perfectly. Most of the massage bars I think are bigger and come in like an, you can get an oval tin for those, but I have just this small one right now. And I actually have an oval one coming for more um, sparkle jar melting experiments. But this is the one we're gonna use today. So I'm really, really excited. So I did not come up with this. I think this is a brilliant idea. And if I can, before I'm done um, and post this video, I'm going to try and find um, the posts that I have liked and where I got this idea from, the Instagrammers and post to give them credit on this video because I would just really like to do that. I just don't like to try and take credit for anything that I didn't come up with because I do not like it when people do that with anything mine. I don't think it's right. So, that being said, this is probably going to make a mess. This could be a disaster. But one thing that these guys did, a couple of them did, and this is one of those things where you could probably do it a couple different ways. I know that um, some of them actually, this is a no. This is a no. <laughs> Put this in the microwave. Don't do that. Do not do that. I'm actually not even advocating or saying that this is something that you should do. This is something I'm doing for you guys to watch that I thought was cool. Um, what I'm going to do, because I did see that someone else had this idea. You probably can't see it. It may not be in frame. I'm going to put this little tin um, in my wax warmer and melt it that way and see if that works because I did see that someone had that idea. So I thought, okay, that seems the safest route to go. And we're all about safety here. Safety and cleanliness. <laughs> okay. So let's just, let's get started. Okay. Now this is the knife that I used to chop up my bubble bars. And this one isn't in the best shape anyway. So, you know, a lot of times, in my opinion, Lush has some issues with getting your stuff to you in like the one piece it was intended on getting to you in. So, um, you know, if half of your dust gets to you in the bag like this, or it's not inside your jar, or your jar's messed up, this is actually, um, I don't know, it's a really good solution to maybe your product to not be in 100% um, the way it was intended to get to you. Okay, very, very pretty. Oh my gosh, and this smells so good. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. So, yeah, I really have no idea what I'm doing, so this is just probably gonna be really funny. So, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to poke a couple little holes in the top here, and then after you massage your skin with this, you can just dump out 
think there's a little hole right there. You're supposed to, yeah, you're supposed to use this as dusting powder on your skin because um, what I've read is that the massage bar is, you know, it's got like maybe like cocoa butter-ish um, kind of consistency and it's a little, you know, like, I don't want to say greasy, but you know how lotion feels. And then the dusting powder kind of help uh, dries that down a little bit. So um, anyway, I think what I'm going to do is maybe, and it's already starting to melt in my hand a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the lid, try to cut the lid off. Yeah. Okay. Easy, easy. Okay. There. Now that's all the dust that was in there. Okay. Now that was super easy. Okay. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet because like I said, this has sparkles in it already. So you're going to get, if you do this, or I should at least when I'm done, I should get plenty of sparkles in my melted down sparkle jar. So we're going to move this back here behind me on the other counter. Okay. And we're just going to start chopping this up. Now, I think that might be a good size to put in there. I might put a couple more chunks in there. I don't know. But I did clean this out. Wiped it down really good. And, you know, mine's kind of old. It's, I keep it in my purse. Um... Put my little massage bar, I use it as a lotion bar in my purse. So it gets kind of dinged up sometimes against my phone and just like whatever else I have in there. So okay. I can't really see my camera. So I don't know. I hope this is like where y'all can see it. Yeah, we're going to go with this amount at first. So, um, some other comments that I read were some people that have put theirs in the microwave, even in like um, a little measuring cup, a glass measuring cup, which is what I was going to do, said that um, maybe they accidentally put it on too high and it curdled. And I've done that with chocolate before, so I'm very much aware of how that goes. So, I didn't want that to happen either. So... We're going to start with this and see how this works in the wax melter. And I'm going to stop this. I might even put just a little, a little bit more in there. I want there to be enough, and I want it all to kind of melt at the same time. Um, yeah, so I thought, well, we'll just try this. And if this doesn't work, I've got plenty more to experiment on. Okay. And like I said, I really don't know exactly what I'm doing with this filming or anything else. So if y'all can't see exactly what I'm doing, I apologize. Okay, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to put this in here. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Um... I'm going to move the camera, and I'm going to move the wax melter. Well, actually, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to move the camera, and I'm going to try and put it on, like, um, what's it called? <sighs> oh, I can't think. Stop motion is all I can think of, and that's, that's exactly the opposite of what I mean. Time lapse. <laughs> that's what I mean. I'm going to try and put it on time lapse. So, if this works and it looks cool, we'll see about it. But, um... There. Okay, maybe that's what we'll do. Um, I'm going to fix it more than that. But So at, the theory is after we do this and after it melts and you pop it in the refrigerator for a little while, I read like maybe 45 minutes, something like that, and then you just kind of tap it, maybe like you would a bath bomb, and then it pops right out. So anyway, um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to fix the camera, put it on time lapse, and if it melts and it works, then um, we'll look at that, and then we'll put it in the, free, uh, the refrigerator and see if it works. So... Crush fingers. Okay. 
Okay guys, so it looks like ah, if I could pick it up without burning myself and without dropping it, this looks like it might be, ah. Don't try this at home, kids. Oh, my goodness. That is so gorgeous. Oh, so gorgeous. Y'all could tell when I stirred it. Okay, this is hot. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator, and I'll be back soon to let you know how it was. Okay, guys. So, the moment of truth is here. I just got this out of the refrigerator, and it is totally, totally solid. Um, it's been about 45 minutes. So, um... I don't know. This may come out. This may not come out. We'll see. Um, I've heard some people have some problems getting it out, and some don't. So let's see. It may have to just maybe heat back up to room temperature first. I don't know. Ah! Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. That feels like it might have loosened up a little. Now, if I knew anything about wax or candle making or anything like that, um, I may know how to do this a little better, but I don't. Oh, no! I just, that was dumb. I just dented it. I'm a little eager to get this out. Oh, I just cracked it. This might be like, I might can get this right the second time kind of thing. Because I intend on doing the, um, a twilight one. And the light on this video, I just watched it back while the TV, um, the TV. While this was in the refrigerator, it was terrible. So, Look at it. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Yay. Okay. <gasps> Look. Okay. 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 <gasps> oh my gosh. It's so soft. <gasps> it's so soft. <gasps> it's awesome. Okay. I don't know. Like I said, the light's real bad here. Oh, it's so soft. It's so perfect. I love it. I love it. I hope you guys can see this. It's gorgeous. I love it. Okay, so it was kind of a crappy video, and I didn't really know what I was doing, but um, I want to try again because I think this is a fabulous idea, and I think maybe now I know a little bit more what to do the second time with the Twilight. But anyway, I love it. I love it. Okay, we're going to try again. All right, guys, now we're going to do a Twilight Sparkle Jar test. We'll hope that this will go off a little bit better now that I think I know what I'm doing a little bit more. This one looks like it's in pretty good shape. Really, really pretty. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. So, we're going to do what we did last time. I think I'm going to hold it. Uh, I want you guys to be able to see me do it. Maybe about like that. We will cut off the top. There. That's a good break right there. Whoop! Ooh, now that's not purple. It's funny because it, um, the snow fairy dust was pink. This is not pink. That is a very interesting. That surprises me. So, you know nothing else that's interesting now we know that I hope I hope the lighting is a little bit better on this video I tried moving my lighting and it's a little different time of day so okay so that's pretty cool looking this still looks like a good little bit of dust left in there I hope the color of this dust doesn't discolor the hmm, new little bar. We'll see. It may just 
disappear and be kind of transparent. I guess we'll see. Okay. So let's switch these out and chop up our twilight jar. All right. So again, I can't really see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of eyeballing it here for you guys. Um, okay, so we'll start with this, this one. And we know we're gonna need a little more than that, so. But it melted really, really good, so that was nice. It just didn't come out very easily, but I was so eager and I couldn't wait. I just probably needed to just let it sit out on the counter for just a few minutes and let it get back to room temperature. That's probably all I needed to do, but I just couldn't wait. I'm just one of those people, like I mess up my nails all the time because I can't wait for them to dry before I start doing something. Kind of like that. Okay. Oh, and then the, okay, so it didn't take long for it to melt, and the wax warmer at all. So when I did the time lapse video, <laughs> I didn't really need to do that. Um, so I won't do that this time when this one melts. So we'll be able to see it a little better. And when I stir it, hopefully you can see the shimmer in it because it was so pretty when I was looking at it. But then when I when I watched it back to see the time lapse, I was like, God, that's so fast. Y'all can't even see me stir it. So um, I won't record it that way this time either. So you live and you learn, but I want to show it all to you guys. So we'll just do it a couple different ways. Okay, oh my gosh, this smells so good. Both of these scents are so good. Now, I'm not like the hugest Lush fan in the world because just so many of their scents are just, a lot of them are floral and a lot of them are really, really strong. And I like a little bit more um, milder kind of scents and um, I'm not too big on the florals. And I like a few of them, but um, like, of course, lavender is a flower. Um, and I think I might like jasmine. I think I'm coming around to that, but I'm not sure. But anyway. And, of course, I love Honey, I Wash the Kids. And I love the Golden Wonder Bath Balm scent. I love this one. I like Snow Fairy. It was too sweet for me at first, but I mean, it's really grown on me. I like... Um, I really like the sparkle jar of the Snow Fairy, but I wasn't crazy about, what did I try first from Snow Fairy? I don't know. The first time I smelled it in the store, I don't remember what product it was. It wasn't my favorite, but it's grown on me. I also like, never mind the ballistics, that's one of my favorite. That's super fruity. Okay, that looks pretty good. My point being is these are two of my favorite scents, so this is really cool. That's one reason I think this is a really cool experiment. Okay, project, and maybe a project now that the experiment has kind of worked. Okay. So, so pretty. Okay, it looks like it's time to go back in the refrigerator. Now this, I learned from last time, I'm not going to pick it up from the actual tin. I'm just going to pick this up 
and put it right in the refrigerator because that is what makes more sense. So I will be right back, you guys. Okay, so this is what we have from our Twilight Sparkle Jar. I took my tripod, my camera off my tripod. I wasn't very impressed with that today much anyway. Like I said, my light hasn't been great. What I did do with this when I took it out, I'm kind of squeezing it a little bit around the sides and kind of moving it around in a circle. Um, I did leave it out. It's been out, I don't know, maybe five, ten minutes. It was in there. I actually forgot about it, though. I did leave it in there a little bit longer than 45 minutes. I don't know, probably about an hour. So we'll see if it comes out a little bit easier this time. So anyway, my point was about the tripod. I only have one hand to take it out with this time. So I don't know if it'll be even better or worse than it was last time getting it out. All right, so this is what we have. I think I learned another lesson. Okay, so I think letting it sit out on the counter and get room temperature did not help. I think that made it get a little more um, just kind of soft and want to adhere to the little tin lid a little bit more. So don't do that. You know, live and you learn. That's why we're doing this. That's why you're watching me. So if you do it, you won't make the same mistakes I did. And this feels like a really soft piece of milk chocolate. That's what this feels like. It feels awesome. But this probably isn't really the consistency that you want. Um, this one feels so much more soft than the uh, than the Snow Fairy, which is so weird. Because I just picked it up a second ago, and it feels fine. But this one feels like it's actually melting. So, I don't know. It's very interesting. All right. Well, anyway, that's the end of the video. Hope it was informative. Maybe do a little more research on this and try it yourself if you want to. But realize you might mess up both of your products, whether it be the tin or the sparkle jar. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope that you thought this was a little bit of fun. See you next time. Bye-bye.